for example 17, it wants us to use the graph and the quadratic function and determine which function has a lower minimum value. All right, so I see this one is in standard form and f of x is graphed. So to find the vertex here, we put a point down here at the minimum value, which is three, which is one and three. So it has a vertex of one and three, which means the minimum value here is three. So f of x has a min of three. Now we need to find g of x's. So we're gonna label ax squared minus bx plus c, and we use b equals negative b, I'm sorry, x equals negative b over 2a. We know that b is negative 8, so I have a negative 8, negative 8, over 2 times a, which is 1. So negative 1, so we get plus 8 over 2, which is 4. Okay, so here we, so far, we are at 4 on the x-axis. Now let's plug 4 in to find our minimum value. So we're going to take g of 4 equals 4 quantity squared minus 8 times 4 plus 18. Simplifying, we start with exponents. 4 squared is 8. Negative 8 times 4 is negative 32 plus 18. I'm sorry, 4 squared is not 8. What was I thinking? 4 squared is 16. That's better. So we have 16 plus 18 is 34, minus 32 gives me 2. So my point is at 4 and 2. So there's my vertex. Okay, let's go here and there. And then That's what this one looks like. Okay, and we see that at g of x has a lower minimum value. This one is a value at 4 and 2. So we will say that the function g of x is minimum of 2 is lower than the function f of x's minimum of 3. 